Hey everybody, join me today because we're salon walling. Step one is about choosing your art, but first you're going to need a ladder. Where's my ladder? And a pair of very good task rabbits. <laughs> There are a couple of ways you can go about putting together a salon wall. First is collecting art over time. The second approach is actually really thinking about the art in terms of decoration, so having it go with the furniture you're choosing. And the third thing you can do is just go for it. Use your wall, nail some stuff up, and it can be something that feels really fluid and kind of cool. So for this salon wall, we really chose the art to go with the fabric on the upholstery. So it's really about the color story. Another thing that I really like about this salon wall is that we're mixing art with 3D objects. I started it and anchored it with a really large canvas and then moved up the wall with two smaller pieces that actually really pull the color palette from the large canvas but make a really beautiful kind of eclectic look and then punctuate it with a 3D object and then I worked my way up into something smaller because your sight line, you're really going to see the sort of bottom third and then the top third is just that, a little extra decor punch. Here we're mixing landscapes with abstracts, with uh, 3D objects, color palette, there's a little bit of metallic, and it really pulls it together and pops off of the green sofa. Everything looks really great and finished up here, but let me show you how we did this. Okay, the most important super secret step is laying your collection out on the floor so you can see what you've got and you can start planning how you're gonna pull it together. I like to start with my large piece because it's the anchor and it makes it really easy to measure the rest of the wall off of it. Measuring is important. And then I'm gonna look at what I have and decide, do I want it to be organic? Do I want it to be linear? How do I really wanna put it together? And then I'm gonna edit these pieces. I'm gonna move them around. Because this sofa is so linear, I'm feeling like I wanna do something that's rectangular. I'm really happy with the basic layout and now's the time to get into it. And as we know in design, the devil is in the details. <laughs> I'm gonna hang it on the wall, generally speaking, about six inches above the sofa, six to eight inches above the sofa, and about two to three inches between each piece of art. And if you're a designer, a really important step, and maybe my favorite step, is zhuzhing. We have to zhuzh, we zhuzh. It's very important. I really want to make sure that all of my art is perfect and lines up beautifully. And then you have a perfectly executed salon wall. What do you hang on your walls? Let us know and leave your comments below.